With the rich and vibrant sound, it's not a surprise that people are attracted to Doug Falcon's East and West Coast music style. I didn't really play a lot of music as, as a child, but uh, when I went to University of New Brunswick, and uh, I had a roommate who played guitar, so I demanded that he teach me how to play. And immediately I started going to uh, wanting to perform, even with my rudimentary skills as a guitar player. So I started attending coffee shops and folk clubs and any jam session I could get into and uh, start writing songs and playing songs. So I'd write a song on a Saturday and go play it on a Sunday afternoon coffee house kind of thing. So that was really where I got my start. Wake up early just to take the long way. Got to know Doug Falkins as a songwriter probably about 10, 12 years ago. He uh, actually came over to my house uh, looking to co-write and maybe get some pointers on how to put a song together. He was a very quick learner <laughs> and uh, obviously he's uh, honed his craft quite well. With an excellent sound, perseverance and a bit of patience, Doug was able to receive a contract for his music. I have a new CD that came out in April and I've been uh, sending it all over the place to try to uh, gain some interest because uh, one of my primary goals is to have other people record my music or have my music placed in film and TV. Um, the company in San Francisco called Musync, uh, I sent in an application and uh, a couple months later I received back uh, an email with an offer that they were interested in working with me um, and so they sent me a contract and I signed the contract. Uh, I hope it goes well for him. I know he had one deal before that didn't work out at all. So I hope this one uh, goes better for them. A, a good publisher will place about three or four songs a year, and they have thousands of songs in their library. So it is always, it's, it's a shot in the dark, but at least he's taking that shot in the dark. Like every other artist who is trying to promote their music, Doug has produced a new CD to help his musical career. Well, um, the new CD is out, it's called Another Last Call. There's 10 original songs and three uh, covers of traditional Irish maritime songs. And yeah, so uh, selling it locally, selling it on iTunes, any of the places that you can legally download. It was a challenge to play on. His music is definitely different than what most people are used to hearing around here. So when you get into that sort of West Coast feel and all of a sudden you have to hop out of that and hop into an East Coast feel, and the very next song is back to the West Coast and then the East Coast and maybe something more, more Central American, it, it made it a challenge. With the bright future ahead, Doug will continue doing what he loves best. His uh, writing has become much more interesting. It has much more depth to it. Uh, than, than it did 10 years ago, which, you know, with any artist, that's what you hope for. Well, continue to play and promote my music um, and, and, you know, and still have a good time. And you know, the reason we're doing music is because we like it. <laughs> it's, it gives us joy. Bob Dylan said it best and that an artist is always in a state of becoming, right? And Doug's obviously in that state as well. In Campbell River for Shaw TV, I'm Chattis Leo.